Okay, here we have the Maytag Neptune. Uh, it had a problem. First symptom was the door wouldn't open right away after it shut down. Uh, it seemed like it would open after about 10 minutes or something. Uh, then it just stopped spinning. Well, you know, a few trips to the internet and YouTube and the like and we come up with uh, the wax motor. This little wax motor is supposed to be a time delay. Uh, what it does, from what I've read, and not this isn't mine, uh, it overdraws power, which takes out a little triac on the board, and I'll show you the burn triac, and it also burns out a little resistor. Okay. Uh, after some fiddling on the internet, I come up with a 3.9 <clears throat> kilowatt quarter ohm resistor. This is what was in there. I couldn't read it because it was burned up. Uh, and the uh, triac, I was able to read the number off of it. And I was able to get that. I will show you what that number is. Okay, here we've got the washer. Uh, pulled out and we're going to take off this little screw right here and there's one over on the other side this back is still hooked on with with uh, these screws up here but once I take this off I'll be able to uh, slide this thing forward okay I've got these back screws off and to get this off Kind of go like that. And I'm the same on the other side. And I pull these screws off the top, and you can see the board. Okay. Now I've got this off, and you can see the board right there. Now this is the board we're looking for, and I'll give you a close up on this thing. There's two screws right here, two nuts put on here, and you can pull those off and you can look at the back, but I'll show you the spots that were uh, that were burned on this thing. Okay, now you understand that this is not the cause. The board problem is not the cause. The cause is a wax motor. The wax motor puts too much load on the triac. The triac fails and shorts. <laughs> And takes out the transformer, or takes out the resistor. Okay. So okay, here's a close-up of the board. You can see the resistor. That's a 3.9 kilo ohm resistor. And you can see that little triac on the right, and it's kind of broken up. Uh, both of those parts are bad, and of course the the uh, wax motor is going to have to go too. Uh, here's another look uh, at that triac from a little different uh, viewpoint. So let's take a look at the uh, at where the the wax motor is. Okay, the wax motor is actually uh, right up behind here. Now, in order to get that up, I got to go through a couple of operations. Uh, I can't just lift this up here. There's no snaps or nothing on it. There's actually clamps uh, underneath here, and I'll show you where they are. This whole uh, part off here, and I'll show you how you're going to get to that. Now, if you look right here, there's a little bracket right there. There's two of those. There's one high up, two right there. We're going to have to take those out. Okay, over the hinge side, you've got screws too, right there. And one on each hinge. It does not actually take the hinge off. But if you take that off, then this uh, front panel will come off. So I'm going to take those out, and then we'll take this whole front off. Okay, now if you look on this side, I've taken that other one off, you can snap that loose and the other side loose, 
Now you can see the whole front of this just comes off. That's all it has to do is come down like that. That's going to expose the brackets. Okay, now you can see this bracket right here. If you, I'm going to get close on that thing. This is what's actually holding the top, this top piece here on. There's one on each side. I pulled this one loose and you can see it's up and we have access. Okay, when you lift this top up, you can do like I did, I just lift it a little ways uh, because there's back in here some hoses that go up to this. Uh, all this deal where you put your soap in and stuff. Uh, I didn't. I just pried it up and jammed it with some. This is your wax motor right here. Uh, it has a brown shaft and uh, the new ones all have a black shaft. That's how you tell the difference. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and replace that motor. Okay here what we're trying to do here is you can see this little spring back here and you gotta kind of pry back there and then pull out a little bit and it just pops out. Don't get too aggressive with this thing. Uh, you might damage something. At that point then the uh, Wiring can be pulled off. Don't just pull on wires. Be careful of these things. Just, you end up breaking a bunch of other parts. And, and if you can kind of lever them up, that's the best way to do it. Okay, if you can see that. Now the terminals are off. And we can move back this way and should be able to get it out. Okay, you can see I've got the shaft out and pull the whole thing out and we'll put the new one in. Oh you okay you can see with some gentle persuasion you didn't get nuts over with you know jamming springs or anything like that and all these parts here. Uh, I've got it back in and I'm gonna put this retaining spring back in there and we should uh, have this thing ready to go. Okay, with the motor back in and this assembly moved back to this back position where this thing's right about here. Uh, take a bunch of pictures of these things as you take them apart so you can get them back together. Okay, the motor's about the right spot there. I'm going to put the spring back in and we'll have her done. Okay, now the wire is back on. And you're done. Put her back together. And now we'll go into the repair of the electronics. Okay, I picked up uh, this Triac. See if you can read that part number. Uh, that's what I ended up with. And 
Oh, I think these are about 40 cents a piece. I did look on eBay. There's a guy there will sell you a kit which consists of the wax motor, um, that little resistor, the 3.9 kilo ohm resistor, and this little triac. And he wants 50 some bucks for it. Um, you know, I mean, he gives some kind of neat directions. I have to give him that, but boy, that's an awful lot for that thing. Because the wax motor, I bought it retail for a little over 12 bucks. Uh, I've seen them on uh, Amazon for four. Uh, and then I've got, I don't know, eight one hundredths or eight tenths of a cent or something for the resistor. And uh, about 40 cents, I believe, for this uh, triac. So I just went ahead and bought them, and I'll give it a shot. Old washing machine, if it don't make it, it don't make it. Uh, but not going to put a lot into it. Anyway, this is the Maytag Neptune. Uh, there were several model numbers. Uh, it's, it's not a real big deal. All these Neptunes were somewhat similar, as far as I can tell. Okay, you can see our bad resistor right there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out I'll unsolder the back side I've already taken the uh, triac out okay here I've got the board turned over and you can see the burn spot where the resistor was right there and pretty small trace, gonna have to be pretty careful on this one to uh, not ruin the trace. One of the other things, these boards are coated with a lacquer or something like that. Probably a good idea to come in here and actually sand that down just a little bit and see if you can get it off or scrape it off with a knife or something like that. It seems to work better if you do. Okay, here you can see the resistor is installed. The other side, looks like we got the traces okay, we didn't cross over or anything like that. So I think we're okay there. Okay, right here is where I put that uh, triac back in. And you can see some spots around here where we probably cross traces. I'm going to go in there with a knife, scrape all that stuff out, and make sure it's all uh, gone so there's no cross over there. Okay, there's your joint right there for the uh, triac. Pretty well cleaned up, I think. Maybe a couple more little spots I might piddle with a little bit just to be sure. Here's a look at the other side. I tend to leave the leads kind of long in these things, but you want to make sure that everything is soldered and it's, it's pretty uh, tight. 